12. Uh, been away for most of the day. Anyway, here we are. Made it to Frozen Tears. So let's go outside and have a look. <gasps> That's so beautiful. Rock! My little birdie. Well, that train's on fire. Literally. And there's absolutely nothing here. Oh, there's a dude there. What do you want? My orders are not to let anyone in. Orders are orders. Talk to our commander. Well, I would if you'd let me in. Hmm. There's a thing there. There's a thing there. Can go further. Just an old armchair. Nothing interesting. Awesome. Greetings, traveller. You you probably seek the place of redemption, as do all who come here. Getting there is the smallest of problems. The real difficulty lies in awaking in it. But let's not stay out here in the cold. Please, let me invite you to my humble home. Hey, let's go inside. It's only nicer than being in a dungeon. The old book says that in order to awaken the sculpture on the hill, one must pierce its stone heart with a blade made with a metal from the stars. I'm guessing adamantium. Obtaining this metal won't be easy, as it is valued highly by the villagers. Many fools have come here and tried their luck before you. However, they paid no attention to the metal, to the metal their blades were made of, and their negligence led to their demise. The required matter is one thing, but the shape of the sword is another matter. Here, my knowledge ends. A long time ago, in a place far, far away. <laughs> A long time ago, I helped in the construction of a cathedral on the outskirts of the village. An old man lives there. I don't know if his stories come from his wisdom or madness, but he may be able to help you. You'll start your search tomorrow. Tonight, you may sleep in my house. It will be dark soon, and it is better to stay inside after dark in these parts. You're not going to kill me again like that other rat did. The warmth of the fireplace brings peace. My eyelids become heavy. I hear a woman's voice in my dreams, calling me. I run towards the sculpture, but rather than getting closer, it seems to get further and further away. Tired? I stopped and examined my hands. They are drenched in blood. Then the voice, the blacksmith's voice woke me up. I'm sorry, I'm not very... Well, I'm... been working all night, I'm very tired. In the end of night... In the dead of night, the village is shrouded by a paralyzing fog. It's not known who has caused this atrocious act. Soon after, knights from the castle come, bringing pain and destruction with them. Scribble, scribble. Must be a sketch from back when the blacks. I missed it. Okay. Hey! Well, let's, um, go and explore the town. There's not much else here in this house. There's a thing here. And an anvil. Oh wow, what happened to you? The god is dead. You were killed by the fog or something. Nope, I have nothing on me. The gate is locked. Just a note, aren't you? Nothing interesting. I don't know. Is there anything back in the blacksmith's house? Um. 
Oh wow, this entire place has been... Oh, there's something here. We were attacked. <gasps> we were attacked at dawn. First came the fog, it slowed our movement and clouded our sight, then came the flying machines. Knights in hot helmets, God. They appeared out of nowhere before we realised what was happening, it was too late. I tried to disperse the fog, Cough. find the mage inhabiting the catacombs on the hill and ask him for help. He will know what to do. I hope so. Because I... I'm tired of having to find out everything to do. Take this key, it'll open the gate. Well, well, I'm not going to be able to go any further because of this fog. So I'm going to go back to the gate. You put your key? Oh, yeah. I've done it again. I'm always doing it. I'm always, like, leaving things behind. The key there. A key! Uh, let's uh. Now that I finally have the key, I I've got to stop running off and leaving things behind. Yeah. Yep. Let's uh go and uh, open the gate. Clunk. Oh, I know this game. It's called Daughter in a Box. It's a Chinese game. Right, we've got to get that green thing over to this green cog. Uh. Okay. Sw all right. Swish. Swash. Uh well, that's not gonna help, is it? Um Okay, we'll put that there. Oh that's it. The gate is opening. Ding, 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 ding. Ding. Go. What's that? Oh! I gathered the blue flowers. Let's see if. Oh, two chairs. More flour. There's two of them. Well, we've got some flowers. Are you another one of those seeking redemption? Many have tried before you, as you see. Myself, I don't intend to end, like, end up like these fools around me. I have taken great effort to craft the perfect sword. I can already feel the ra its radiant glow purifying my body. The time of atonement is near. Let us cease to be silent, audience. M may the spectacle finally begin. What, you... You gotta... What, you're gonna just... Oh, he died. Ugh! One can read terrible disappointment on the witch's face. Back down. Let's 
go in here. Ooh, scary. <gasps> Shh, be quiet. Don't make any noises or the dead will awake. They lurk in the darkness. Awaiting that moment of weakness. I have my eye on them. I watch them through a hole in the wall. Ah, I see a new specimen. I've not seen this one here before. Let me summon him through the transcendence table. Prepare me an extract from the flowers growing up on the hill. I need to, to activate the table. Go now. This is of utmost importance. I must stay here and observe them. You will find one of the flowers needed to activate the table on the next one beside you. Oh! Magic flower. I love the flower. <laughs> I gathered the blue flowers. I've got four of them? I oh, those. Well, um... What's this? this is, oh, it's flowers. There's a large open egg at the top. Looking down, I see a rows of tiny blades. Oh. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mince flower petals bring the transcendence table to life. Something's happening. Can't stop it now. What? Where am I? What is this stench? Hey! You're the jester! Bound, humiliated by my memory slowly begins to return. You freed the queen now, and I was pronounced the traitor. I was buried alive. I did not deserve a punishment so cruel. The last thing I remember was darkness. Now I'm here. How can this be? Fate once again crosses the path, but now it is I who am imprisoned. It is truly the irony of fate. My life is now in your hands. I beg of you, show mercy and release me. I have my share of suffering. Yeah, you can go free. Achievement, forgiveness. You chose well to free me. I am not the man you met anymore. While my body appears the same, my soul has experienced what you may call a carthesis? Car catharsis. Thanks to you, I understand that darkness isn't the opposite of light, but in fact it is a cradle, for it is only from darkness that light can be born. Is my microphone not... Uh, hello? Yeah, that's better. It is best to part ways in dignity, even though I did wrong in the past. Please let me s say farewell in such a manner. Farewell. Who? I can hear that you've acted with attention to... I hope you did not take it with it. It is a very delicate apparatus that can easily summon a malevolent being. Before I proceed to the table, please tell me why you come here. You speak of paralyzing farting, shrouding the foot of the mountain. I believe I know what might help you. Take this powder and throw it against the fog. It may not bring back the dead, but it will clear your way. The powder s does everything. It washes, it washes, it cleans, it weans, it gets rid of fog. For five ninety nine, you can have this powder to powder and powder. I can't talk anymore. Too tired. <gasps> go away. Oh, let's go up there. Nope. Let's go down here. And let's uh, go down here again. I've made myself lost. Great. Just great. No, the train. I hope the train driver's okay. He was nice. Here we are. Where is it? I've lost the. I'd getting annoyed.
Oh, this is stupid. I've just lost where to go. Let's go back up there. I'm gonna scream in a minute. It's probably staring me in the face. It is. Right. Go, magic powder. He's dead. We are just suffering of a fatal. The fog is starting to disperse. The magic powder worked. <gasps> what? Ooh, all this death. I hope that's a flower. Oh, it's a sword. Let's go up to the church. Oh, uh, oh, I know this. There was a um. Grumpy, frilly, spiky. Oh, the column starts to shake. The column descends, not shakes. They got grounded. Uh. Uh, and this one is Grimace Spiky Square. Oh, yep, that is it. Well, um, I was supposedly easy. Anyway, Jojo here saying thank you for coming along for the walk in the foggy areas. <laughs> if you like the video, like it. Uh, leave a comment letting me know what your views on how badly I played this type of episodes. Um, and uh, subscribe and share. And uh, what kind of nightmares do you like? And what don't kind of dreams don't you like? Ha 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 Anyway, this is JJ.